All right, guys, we're playing some Rift in Top Lane, but this game we are playing with the new changes to Scorch, and we're going to find out like how strong this actually is. So, um, what we have is the Conquer page, we also have the Transcendence, and we also have Scorch. So, yeah, pretty much uh, what they buffed about Scorch is just the damage. In my opinion, like Scorch has already been like an awesome like rune for a long time. Now that they're finally nerfing like Bone Plate and Second Wind and all that stuff that comes along with it, and they're buffing Scorch at the same time, that means that Scorch is a much, 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 much more valuable option now. So yeah, few things in once basically means like it's a double buff because yeah, it's like a direct nerf to everyone using Resolve. Okay, it's got first and domination. Yeah, I noticed that like some people start playing with anything other than resolve right now because of all the changes they've done to resolve. So now we see like people going domination because they've been buffing the damage in the domination tree basically. But yeah, for um, the, the game plan is quite simple. I'm playing it safe right now. The plan is to play super aggro the moment I have to wave in a better spot. Pretty good. Oh, they have a kinship. Uh, That was a very interesting gank right there. I'm going to kill him. If he stuns him, I'm going to flash. Nice. If I didn't flash it, he would probably flash over the wall and probably got away, so quite happy with it. I also have a double buff right now, so I can probably kill Gangplank now. My spirit is not lost. Oh, it seems like he doesn't flash. I was really hoping that Gangplank was going to flash, but <laughs> yeah, apparently he doesn't. I think I might just uh, hold the wave like this and just wait for Gangplank to come back. But yeah, four minutes in, we already have 49 damage on Scorch. Really nice. It's adding up like a lot of damage. Now we just wait. I have my double buff, so... Um, when Gangplank returns, I'm just going to all in immediately. He also does not have Bone Plate, so that makes laning very, very easy against him. Smart. Smart. He's like holding his auto and then decided to not use it. Yeah, nice try. This barrel was still on uh, on its cooldown. He it couldn't be used yet. Learn from your mistakes. Probably get a kill on him. Probably just end up like shoving the wave. I don't have to fight him right now because I have like 1.3k uh, gold in my pocket currently. I'm just going to reset real quick. I'll grab my uh, my Warhammer. Nice. Let's go for pots. Yeah, of course, they nerf pots right now. Yeah, right. Uh, how much does it give again? 100 HP. <laughs> What a joke. Like, I remember all the changes that potions go through. Like, back in back in the day, like, you could buy a potion for 35 gold. And then you could benefit from it so much. Then they decided to nerf biscuits. They decided to nerf potions, making it 50 gold. Then they decided to nerf the HP right now. Like, they're nerfing every part of the potions. It, it feels like Riot doesn't want potions in the game anymore. Because they're like constantly nerfing everything that, that is related to sustain. Which is a bit weird. Huh? Are you baiting? 
No, he stopped baiting. I'm just walking to the river, so I was assuming that someone was here. Maybe there is. I want to get, like, at least one play before I go back. Yeah, perfect. But yeah, like, uh, you would assume that matchups like Gangplank is going to be harder right now because of the potion changes, but... Um, if I remember correctly, I have to uh, do some research, because I believe they nerfed Gangplank, right? Lost. Let me just take a quick... What was that last patch? No, it was this patch. 12.14. Uh, they nerfed the base heal, the health growth, the base armor. No, they buffed the health growth. How should so they made more scaling, I guess. I'm definitely not getting hit by the barrel. But yeah, like, they they um, they nerfed the, the, the potions and all that stuff, so it's technically a, a buff to Gangplank, but then again, they, they changed Gangplank itself. Let's show up the wave. But yeah, really, uh, really interesting stuff, honestly. I think I'm maxing E this game. Got him. Uh, there's a chance that Kindred could be topside. Oh, he's not. Never mind. He's actually balling. Just showing up as I said it. So we are. Uh, we're gonna take some risk. AP gangplank is stupid, you guys say? Yeah, I know, right? I've seen so many AP gangplanks. I don't know where it's coming from. I wonder if this guy is also going AP gangplank. I don't think he will, though. But he does have stopwatch, so maybe. Learn from your mistake. No, he's not going AP. This guy's going for the the crit the crit gangplank build, actually. Mm. He's placing a war town, I guess. What conflict awaits? Okay, I got you. No I will get him. Thank you. I <laughs> chased him down like all the way. Worth it, man. I lost the whole way, but who cares? I got the kill. It's fine. Good for my kitty, eh? <laughs> now, now I truly sound like a kitty, eh, player, man, after saying that. <laughs> yeah, but when I think about kitty, eh, I, I always think about only one thing. Um... Wait, grab this one. Like, I remember back in the day... Uh, man, like, um, before I played League of Legends, back in the day, uh, I played a game called Combat Arms. Probably, like, most of you guys don't know it because it's been... Uh, it was a free-to-play game, but not really... Uh, it wasn't necessarily that huge of a game or anything. It was decent. Uh, average player base. <laughs> I remember, like... I was so addicted to that game. I was like, the only thing I cared about in that game was my KDA. <laughs> I was like looking at my stats, and I saw like a KDA, and I was like, ah, that's not enough. I need to improve my KDA. So every 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 time I got out of a lobby, How I, I uh, I had to improve my KDA. <laughs> every single day I woke up, I started that game. I I, I checked up my stats, and I need I needed to have a good KDA because. 
uh, other people were able to see your KDA. Like, you could actually go to people, their stats, and see their KDA. So that, that's the only thing I cared about. <laughs> and so did everyone else. Like, y you would go into the lobby and people would talk about your KDA. Like, that was the only thing people cared for. <laughs> so if, if I talk about this stuff, all I can remember is that game, actually. <laughs> But yeah, it's a really long time ago. I was, uh, I was like 12 years old or something like that. I was like really young when I played that game. Or maybe even younger. Maybe I was 11. I don't remember anymore. Mm, I want to attack him. Oh, it's coming back. Please don't. Yeah, nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. He doesn't have flash, so if he walks up once, he's definitely dead. Oh, my Q cancelled. Violence to end violence. Thank you. He fell for the trap. I hit my Q to give him the idea that my Q is on cooldown. But then, yeah, I'll just extend my Q and I'll have it back. So, lots of people fall for it. Hey, this is how I get a lot of kills. Pretty good. No jungle camps. Well, there's this one. I'm about to lose a turret to this one. <laughs> hey, Gangplank is over there. There's no turret, so good luck, my man. There is no turret. You're, you're dead. Got you. Well, I got 2.5, so I'll probably end up going back now, and I'll probably end up going for Chainsword. I have something to say, though. Like, they did nerf Chainsword. They dropped, like, uh, they made it, like, 200 more expensive, I believe. So you have to, like, instead of, like, 2.6, it's now 2.8, I believe. Go to check that to make sure. Wait. Uh, the combined cost is from 300 to 500, and then the total cost is from 2.6 to 2.8, so they've been adjusting it. Yeah, it's ex more expensive now. Let's see if I can flank mid lane. Wow. Clean. Well played. I tried hitting all three, but Yone was being annoying. <laughs> Monsters never Could have killed all of them, but Yone, uh, Yone's E was um, being played pretty well. Yeah, I suppose he was shoved away, yeah. The plates are gone, so it's not really a problem. You know what's kind of disappointing, though? I have, like, 289, like, damage on Scorch. It could have been so much more if, if I got to, like, trade Gangplank more, but... When I fight Gangplank this game, it's always a straight-up all-in afterwards. There's no trading, because I'm already too strong for him. So I haven't been able to use my Scorch... On its uh, on its best, you know what I mean. So long I've wandered. It's probably showing up here somewhere. Yeah. 
Gotta be very careful now. He might show up. Got him. Thank you. I've got like a low cord on my E because I'm maxing it, so. Mm. He's not trying anymore? Okay. That sucks. He's still up here. I'll grab the blue then. Maybe we can also get this camp here. I think that Yone is going to show up. Yep, got him. Like right on the corner. Yep, he's dead. There's a uh, vein up here. Thousand gold! Wait, what? That's a lot of gold. Like, this guy is not that strong. I'm way more strong than Vayne is. Wait, what? He was actually worth that much gold. That's insane. That's very weird because we are, like, so much stronger than the enemy team currently. <laughs> I want to get this camp here. See you later. <laughs> yeah, 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 right, of course. Right. Well, uh, yeah, let's go for... I think about Hydra. I'll go Hydra. And I'll take, of course, I'll take those city boots. Hey Dave, your top lane videos on YouTube are so insightful to watch. Thank you very much. Hey, no problem, man. I'm glad I can help. And yeah, right. This Yone is overextending. Okay. If Yone goes down, that's um, a good sign because he's the only guy who is actually doing something at the moment. I can just kill everyone else. Next time, Should have flashed. Not bad. Got my cooldowns. Yeah, this is going to be one of those Super 1v9 games, I think, because uh, we're also the only one this game who is actually fed. So it's going to be a challenge. Those games are quite rare. Like, being this fed, but, like, still being, you know, 21 minutes in the game. Like, anything could happen right now. Because we are the uh, only ones who is fed at the moment.
Let's go up to the. Let's go up to this camp here. He was like, like he was like standing like right next to the wall. Like I wonder why did he not move forward? Like he was just standing there and autoing it. So I, I was assuming they would probably just want to leave afterwards, but. A bit weird. Yeah, I'm way too fat. Uh, well, I'll just grab the turret then. Yeah, they're team fighting, so I think they probably win that team fight. Uh, let's go up to the camp here. Okay, time to back off. I'll uh, I'll grab my. Probably go for grudge. Setting some purpose, though, it's always nice to have. And final item, I was thinking about going for Death Stance, but I think I might just go for... I mean, uh, I was thinking about going GA, but I think I might just go Death Stance. Someone showing up here. No, it's it's a Yone in mid. Oh, he saw me. <laughs> yeah, I got way too much cooldown. Uh, that's a kindred up here. I can't actually get my Warhammer right now. How should I <laughs> Stole it. I'm reporting. Uh, I'm reporting blue after this game. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I would never report my support like that. Wow, like that went super wrong, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I'll get my death stance. I'll get it now. Still need level 18, so we still have something to do. And I love playing Riffin like that when you have like so much ability haste because your E is literally like 2 second forward out. Here take a look. 2.26. Thank you. No chance for you. Maybe we can get something. I'm just gonna run into the enemy base. We'll see what happens. Uh, there's Yone, which I have to get. 
I don't think he's gonna give me the Penta. Oh, he will? Uh, he will not give me the Penta. No. He's not giving me the Penta. I need that sense. Can I say one thing? I get a lot of kills on Riffin in in a lot of games I play, consistently like getting a ton of kills actually. But one of the rare things I haven't had in a while was getting plus 30 kills. I'm gonna see if I can get that in this game. It's been a long time because games never get this far, you know what I mean? Like if, if there's a Riffin walking around the map with like 20 kills plus, like people usually surrender the game because they don't they wanna they wanna face off the frustration of playing against one like that. But we're like 27 kills in, it's like 27 minutes. We are the only ones in this game who is actually fed in the game. And I think that's why they keep on trying. So we can try to... Let's see how many kills we can get in this game. Wow, you can't. I can't believe that. He pressed that ability. Oh. Kindred. Kindred. He pressed his ultimate. What conflict is he pressed his ultimate right at the end. He made me live. I was dead. I could not win. I, I was dead. I, I had no abilities at the time of dying. They, they, they dropped everything they had on me. Wow. Hey, either way, this is Riven Top. Thanks so much for watching today's YouTube vid. And I'll see you next time.